What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, what I got in this box right here is how you are going to stop your fourth gen RAM. Doesn't matter if it's 2500, doesn't matter if it's 1500, how you're gonna stop the headliner from, not the headliner, I'm sorry, the third brake light from leaking, which in turn causes your headliner to get damp in the back and would eventually ruin it over a period of time. This comes from Detroit Muscle Technologies. That is not a like sponsored ad or anything like that. What this is, is everybody recommends that if you have a third brake light that leaks, you need to get on there as Detroit Muscle Technologies. I don't wanna show you the front of the box because it obviously has my address on it. But what this includes just in this little box, let me, hang on, let me open it up. At least get you past the, uh, the address part so you guys can see what's in it. Why is this so hard to open? And okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. So literally, the only thing that comes in this box is this gasket right here. 2009 to 2018. It's showing this backwards on the camera, isn't it? Let me fix that. Ah, that's a little bit better. There's the part number, that's the company. This isn't the most expensive thing in the world. Shipping is literally more than the gasket it costs itself because I guess they wanna send it in a box so that something doesn't happen to it and it ends up uh, having an issue. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get the third brake light down real quick. You know, I don't need to show you guys it. Um, two, two Phillips screwdrivers, or two Phillips screws, We'll bring it down and I will show you guys what we're gonna do with this gasket and what we're doing with the old one and how this is going to stop it. This will be a short video, but it's gonna be super, super right, helpful. So I hopped up on the truck. Philip, Philip, pull it out, unclip the light clip. Okay, so the reason that this leaks is because the gasket gets somewhat smooshed and then over a period of time, it actually deteriorates, which you can see focus it's very thin in some of those places so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a razor blade I'm gonna clear all this off like this is a good example like you can see how thick the bottom is and then the side has absolutely no thickness at all the side is there you go no thickness so I'm gonna take a razor blade, I'm gonna scrape this off and I'm gonna take a Goo Gone remover and I'm gonna clean the surface really, really well before I ever lay that new gasket down. And I'm gonna do that on the same up there. So let me let me get this scraped off. All right, guys. So to get that gasket off was actually a lot more um, aggressive than I thought I needed to. So I actually ended up going to like, a, uh, what do you call that? Like a wire wheel on a drill. And that ended up getting it off. It didn't look like it scarred it too much. And even if it did, Personally, I don't care. This is strictly an inspection thing for me right now. Um, I am 100% going aftermarket. But this is basically where you want to be at for right now. All right, so before I apply this, obviously, you want to peel the white film off. And then you'll lay it just down just like that. And then you'll reapply and you'll see that the gasket is new. And it's in all the corners at the same exact depth. So it only fits on one way, so it's not like you gotta be like super, super precise. It literally is just gonna fall into place. I just gotta take that off and put that on and then bolt it back up. Okay, so when you're reapplying it, mine is officially on. It's pressed down in all the corners correctly. You wanna make sure that it's following those lines. Like I said, I'm replacing this one anyway, so I'm not too worried about the condition of this one because it is kind of rough. But if you plan on just staying factory and you want to make sure that your gasket stops leaking and you stop getting that pesky headliner dampness, just make sure that it's laying down flush in all the corners before you reapply and make sure you clean the surface really well on your truck so that this can just sit up there flush the way that it should. Closing out this video, um, I realized yesterday that I didn't close that video out. So if your headliner was leaking, not your headliner, you're getting water inside of your cabin on your headliner on your fourth gen ram doesn't matter 1500 or 2500 that is what causes that issue to happen is that gasket around your third brake light um i already said who earlier in that video yesterday who you needed to contact and it's a 20 dollars piece to fix it 
if you're going after market, I probably wouldn't worry about it. But if you're staying factory, which I'm not, I just need to get through inspection. That's what I did. So anyway, guys, till next time, smash that thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. Take it easy.